recommending right now masks over here? Well, I you know I think the danger zone is you know, everyone's talking. The government and everyone else is talking about the danger zone being the West Coast. I don't think so. Across the Pacific, the jet stream is unimpeded. It's pretty high up. It's when it passes the Rockies, and basically the jet stream gets much weaker over the state of Illinois in that area. Okay, it right dives down Chicago, the Midwest, and exactly. And then you have the downdrift then. Uh, uh -huh. uh, by, the, by the time you get to Alle uh, uh, Allegheny, you know, Appalachia, yeah. places yeah. like Pennsylvania, uh, those are the places that are going to uh, see the fallout. So people in that zone, the, the, the danger zone, had better get the face masks and goggles, especially for their children. I mean, uh, you know, those of us who are much older, uh, you know, we have a, uh, you know, we're on death row already, but the, the kids really have to be protected. And schools have to start figuring out what to do about ventilation systems, better filters on the schools especially, and in your homes too, better better ventilation, and then uh, better reporting. If Once we hear of a, of a, of a hot spot, uh, of a, of a, uh, of a spike in the right, area, right. you just got to shut the doors and windows and turn off the ventilation. And don't drive with uh, exterior vents. Oh, thank All you. Oh, air no, no, no. be recycled in your car. I've been telling people that for 20 years. Do not ever open yeah. those exterior vents because you're breathing no, the exhaust no, no. pipe of the car in front up. of you. That's how you have, uh, you know, a, a hundred to a thousand times more buildup than you would. Just, oh, it's uh, crazy. Uh, uh, Nuts. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh, okay, so we have over here... Uh, the jet stream. We can look at the maps. Now, the jet stream mm -hmm. today came straight toward the west coast, hooked way up into British Columbia and over across the top of B.C. and then down into the Midwest of the United States. That's right. It was a huge yeah. hook, so it really didn't impact right. the west coast. Now, low-level drift That's the would. point. That's the point. And all the news about radiation monsters are all on the west coast, not in the center uh -huh, of the country uh -huh, where uh -huh. the fallout was should be expected to be the greatest, huh? Wow. Okay. All right. Very yeah, important. Yeah, no one's talking about this stuff. I mean, there's just just keep the public ignorant, close our yeah. eyes, and then uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the Republicans will take over in a couple of years and it'll be their problem. I mean, this is the way we, they're <laughs> thinking over there. We okay? cannot find out what isotopes mm -hmm. from the government are present. Uh, we can't get an accurate count. They announced right. the other day that a dairy in Central California and another dairy in mm -hmm. Washington State had uh, right. 131 in the milk. They didn't exactly. say anything right. about how many other dairies they checked. They didn't say anything about exactly. any other results. And the bottom line is, we both know, and you listening know, they tested a lot more than just two dairies. That's right. That's right. And like I said, I think I think the West Coast is one of the least affected areas. This is where all the news has been concentrated. It's, it's the rest of the country which... Uh, is going to get it, especially the Midwest. When you, so, I think you, America, Americans have got to create some sort of network to monitor this stuff and share news. And, well, there have to be citizen, the, citizens. At least out of the state and local government, right. which may Citi be more responsible than the federal they government. They should be. Uh, forget the feds. <laughs> right. We've got to have citizens, citizen scientists, citizen expertise on the Internet. It's got to somehow become... Uh, aggregated together where people can buy. I've been trying to do that at rents.com and, and we're doing fairly well. We've got some really good people out there. Uh, counts per minute, CPM, uh, does not distinguish between isotopes. It's just a general radioactive activity. That's right, that's right. And that right. can we're be back, at, uh, it can be background. Obviously. Yeah. And apparently, uh, there's strontium coming out, so that's pretty serious, you know, fallout. That's yeah. stuff in nuclear bombs, so, you know, there's, 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 there's very serious, uh, you know, uh, isotopes with some pretty long... Uh, Do you have a level of uh, CPM that you would become concerned at? And again, we don't know the isotope. Well, well again, the problem here is is not so much the spikes. We're talking about the uh, length, the duration of exposure. And the, and if, if uh, TEPCO is talking about that these plants won't be, uh, the radiation at least won't be stopped for no longer months, we're talking about years, we're talking about very, very long duration. This period. is bioaccumulation, so, uh, death, and danger that's going to last for a long time. Right, exactly. That's whole, the whole Siebert issue is uh, radiation versus, uh, in relation to human health. Uh, you know, the actual higher Siebert ratings really don't matter because no one's going to get exposed to such high levels. It's the length of exposure and the way we're looking at now, exposure very long. The other problem is, well, what if you need to get an X-ray? You know, in other words, uh, you know, or, uh, if you need to get chemo and so on, you're basically going to get be getting overdoses now from now on because you're already been exposed for a long time to radiation. So it's a cumulative effect on well, the body. So I, 
it, it, it is going to throw medicine, you know, uh, into a, into a, into turmoil, basically. Do we see a, a viable reaction worldwide against nuclear power and the nuclear industry? Can it amount to anything to curtail this beast? Well, that's why there's a cover-up. The one thing that's preventing that is that there's no truth coming out about what is happening now. Uh -huh. so the nuclear industry is international. It's very powerful. It's strategic. It has to do with uh, military arsenals. So it, we're, we're, we're just not going to, we're not going to see a lot of truth come out. And it's up to really independent citizen uh, monitoring and journalism that's going to break this thing open. And, this, and, and we do have time. I mean, like I say, it's two years before symptoms show up. So there is time before people start falling. And uh, they're going to fall. Now, there is also time during this two years to take precautions, and there are remediative, so-called alternative health, nutritional issues, detox, that can help remove the issue from the body and minimize your risks of, of dropping into real cancer. So these things are going to be talked about. Uh, we're pushing it as best we can. Uh, the element of fear in Tokyo, what are your reads on that now? How scared are the people there? I heard that one-sixth of the people have moved. A lot, uh, of, people, a lot of people have left to, yeah. uh, uh, further south. I mean, the embassies, they, they fled when they first got the <laughs> high dime 131 readings. They just shut, shut their doors and fled to Osaka. Now they're being encouraged to go back. They have sort of a gun to their head from uh, the G8 or whatever, and they're reopening embassies in Tokyo to uh -huh. try to you know, quell the fear, but the fact is, is, you know, Tokyo is irradiated, the water's irradiated, the air's, you know, uh, got contamination, the milk is, uh, uh, got uh, radio, you know, is, is irradiated, so it's a dangerous place to be over a long term, uh, over a long term, despite all the safety claims of these quack doctors that are they're being rolled out for TV. Oh, these are the disgusting. same people, these doctors are from the very same hospitals yeah. that were behind the, uh, uh, tainted blood, the HIV tainted blood scandal. Oh, really? So if oh, you can believe great. them on HIV tainted blood, well, you know, believe them on radiation. These wow. are the exact same hospitals that Unreal. are coming out and saying this stuff. So no wonder the Japanese people who don't have to be there are getting out of there. They're moving to relatives further south in Japan or leaving right. the country entirely.